And some Columbia business owners spent today cleaning up flood damage from that storm yesterday. You'll recall we issued that weather alert day for severe weather threats. ABC 17's Chanel Porter joins us live at East Gate Plaza. That's off of East Broadway Boulevard where flooding was pretty extreme there. And Chanel, this is not the first time that area has been affected by some of this rain. Deb store owners and people passing through told me earlier that a similar incident happened here about three weeks ago when intense rain was in the area. The cleanup was not an easy process here today. And what we were able to do is go in and extract all the all the standing water and now we'll wait until the, the building owner or the landlord decides what they want to do as far as like tearing the carpet out and cutting into the walls and stuff like that to dry everything out. The UPS store in the Eastgate Plaza was forced to close yesterday afternoon as a second wave of storms dropped over two inches of rain and prompted the ABC 17 storm track team to issue a weather alert day early in the morning. But it's not much different than what would happen if you had a hurricane or something like that and where you get groundwater running into the building, the water is considered contaminated. So so most of the soft goods have to be removed, which is carpet and drywall. Neville said the damage inside will take a week to 10 days before things start getting back to normal. The damage is not only to the inside of the building, but caused the pavement to crack in the parking areas. Probably overall, they're probably going to end up thirty to $40,000 would be my, my guess on total damages. The city of Columbia said because the property is privately owned, it is up to the property owner to fix those problems. Uh, larger commercial properties, they're probably going to want to hire an engineer um, to help them determine what they need to do to manage the stormwater on their property. He said every storm system is different and can create new problems. They need to hire a contractor to do some work or sometimes it's just a little bit of landscaping work they can do or redirecting their downspouts or different things like that. The plaza is operated by Columbia-based TKG Management and a business owner here told me the entire center is owned by the Cronkie Group. TKG management answered my questions earlier today by agreeing that this is not a city based issue and is the property owner's responsibility. Reporting live in Columbia, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. Okay, Chanel, thank you. And Neville also suggested the plaza getting a waterproofing company to address the runoff issue from Hinkson Creek behind the plaza.